Good evening. You're watching Kangaroo Reports, Public Media's Foreign Language News Area. More Sheffield, thanks for joining us. It is in Hungary's interest to maintain close and effective economic cooperation with the Turkey Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade said after talks with the Minister of Industry and Technology of the Republic of Turkey in Budapest. Peter Sieto emphasized that the Hungarian Exim Bank has opened a $220 million credit line for the expansion of trade and started the preparation of a customs procedure. In addition, a reciprocity agreement on VAT refunds has entered into force. The minister emphasized that it is extremely important for Hungary to be able to buy natural gas from the south through new routes. The Hungarian government is therefore counting on natural gas from Turkey as well. According to the agreement with Serbia and the Gazprom, the Hungarian government will issue a tender in September regarding the capacity of gas pipelines crossing both Serbia and Hungary. Besides this, we have to bear in mind that the increased gas capacities coming from Azerbaijan through Turkey will shape the distribution of Central European gas supplies. Hungary continues to support the enlargement of the European Union, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade said in Tirana. Peter Siato in the Albanian capital called it regrettable that a week earlier the EU had postponed the start of accession negotiations with Albania and North Macedonia. The politician finds it unacceptable that the next round of enlargement is scheduled for 2025. However, he added that Hungary would continue to work closely with Albania to halt illegal immigration. Cooperation between the eastern and western sides of the continent is in Europe's interest. Tamás Menzer said in an interview to public media after talks with the Belarusian Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs in Minsk. State Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade added Central Europe has lost a lot throughout history because of the conflicts between the east and the west. Therefore, the State Secretary called the EU's neighborhood policy with the countries of Eastern Europe important, which aims, among other things, at close political association and economic integration with Belarus. It's in our security and economic interest to have cooperation between the East and the West. This is why we support the European Union Eastern Partnership Policy and urge its strengthening. There is extreme heat in Hungary as well. Special attention is paid to the elderly and the infants. But everyone is recommended to do lighter activities on Wednesday. It was the hottest in the capital. The thermometer stood at 35.9 degrees Celsius in the Budapest Zoo and Botanical Garden. The temperature was two-tenths of a degree lower than the previous national daily record. The heat wave is expected to peak on Thursday with temperatures forecast to climb up to 37 degrees Celsius. The temperature was more than 30 degrees in the morning here in the sun. And in the car of our crew, nearly 50 Celsius degrees were measured. Those on the beach had their lunch at Lake Valenza. Besides the cold beverages, languish and fish remain people's favorites. We should only take children outside in the morning or in the evening in an aired baby carriage, the pediatrician of the Bekeh Chaba Hospital warned us. He also called attention to the importance of continuously hydrating the babies. Mother's milk should be enough, but some additional water is always good. The elderly also have to get special attention in this heat. People get cold water and lemonade all day in this live-in social home in Estergom. They receive wet towels as well. They take more showers a day and their rooms are equipped with air conditioning. We use mobile air conditioning and fans in the first place. The institution is built in a way that rooms and the building itself can be aired, the manager of the institution said. The frequent heat waves take a toll on healthy bodies as well. Experts say besides continuous water consumption, it is important that people don't put an extra strain on their bodies. And it is useful to follow the forecasts. Water was handed out at numerous venues in the city throughout the day. Many municipalities have listed on their websites the air-conditioned buildings where people can escape from the heat for a while. Vault Festival kicked off on Wednesday in Chopron, being one of the biggest festivals in Hungary with over 200 programs and more than 10 stages. Those interested can enjoy almost all music genres from metal to jazz this year as well. The biggest crowd is expected by the organizers on Wednesday as Papa Roach, Cypress Hill and Slipknot also take the main stage on the first day of the festival. This is how the campsite of the Vought Festival looked like on Wednesday morning. There are tents as far as the eye can see. 
Loaded with huge backpacks and tents, partygoers were arriving continuously at the festival. At the entrance, just like in recent years, festival goers were allowed to enter the venue after being checked rigorously by the security guards. Most of the visitors regularly return to Chopron for the festival. Festival goers can not only be seen at the festival, but in the town of Chopron as well. It is almost impossible to find a vacant room in the area. Most of the accommodations have been booked already months ahead. Smart festival goers started to make the reservations in December last year and in January this year. 70-80% of the accommodations in the city were already booked in February and March, a manager of a website for lodging reservations said. Visitors can enjoy almost 200 programs in five days. Slash, Black Eyed Peas and Robin Schultz are the most anticipated performers. On Wednesday evening, Papa Roach, Cypress Hill and Slipknot will perform on the main stage. This year's Lake Balaton Gastro Map has been released with some 333 places and food spots. The Pocket Book, that is an ultimate guide to the gastronomy of Lake Balaton, presents the best restaurants, cafes, markets or breweries around the lake. Being the seventh edition, the Gastro Map aims to highlight the destinations that are worth visiting at Lake Balaton. A family atmosphere and local tastes fill the center of Tihon. In this restaurant, everything is made out of local ingredients. There are many who come here specifically because of this. The manager of the restaurant said their menu is constantly being updated with special meals. We're continuously updating our menu. This might be the reason why our restaurant stands out from the others, he said. And this is Zomardi, located in the south of Lake Bolaton. Just a few meters away from the water, guests are awaited with a beach atmosphere. One of the season's specialties is marrow on a toast. This is a third season for the family business. We strive to provide guests with quality foods and drinks, and we do so in an easygoing, carefree environment. It's important for us to hand over this feeling as well, the feeling we love so much, the manager said. Both restaurants were included in the 2019 Lake Bolaton Gastro Map. Restaurants, cafes and markets near to the Hungarian Sea were collected and put into the guidebook, which presents 333 places this year. The chief editor of the magazine said, experts check out nearly a thousand places every year and select the best ones. President of the magazine's editorial board, Oniko Levai, said, development among the catering services at Bolaton is huge. In this year's publication as well, we tried to show the gastro culture that can be found near Lake Bolaton on a large scale. By this I mean we didn't just include places for fine dining, but beach buffets, breweries and local cafeterias as well, Oniko Levai said. The Bolaton 2019 Gastro Guide was published seven years ago for the first time to collect and present those places near Lake Bolaton which are worth going to. During the holiday, it is worth visiting the ruins of the Pauline Monastery in the woods between Schafford and Abraham Hill on the northern shore of Lake Balaton. The Pauline Order, the only Hungarian-funded religious order, has been operating since 1250. The ruins near Schafford are one of the best preserved in Hungary, but they are also rare in the entire Carpathian Basin. Nature lovers can also enjoy the tranquility of the forest at the resting spot with a fire pit and some benches and tables near the ruins of the 13th century monastery. The surrounding area of Mill Pond in Tapolca, with its Mediterranean-style houses, the mill and the park around the lake, is one of the most lovely parts of Hungary. The Temple Hill has been inhabited for five millennia and served as a medieval center of the city as well. The Tapolca Creek starts off the lake and flows into Lake Balaton in Sigliget. The coarse water of the lake is 18 degrees Celsius in winter and summer as well, Lovely restaurants and cafes await visitors around the magnificent lake. That's all for now, but we'll be back tomorrow night at around the same time. And you can catch Hungary Report online as well. Please stay tuned for our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good night.